Well, greetings once again, Sequoia Council Scouters. Bob Showalter here, and welcome to the November Roundtable Recap. I'd like to thank Angie Jenkins for covering for me last month while I was on vacation. If you missed it, Angie is the course director for our next Wood Badge course coming up uh, next spring. If you haven't taken Wood Badge yet, I strongly recommend you do it. It will truly take your scouting to the next level. Well, with Christmas just a few short weeks away, I thought I would take uh, the opportunity this month to talk about something I used to do as a scoutmaster. Every year about this time at one of our troop meetings, I would hand out a Christmas wish list for scouts. This was a list of things that I thought would be good for scouts to have and that they could ask parents and grandparents or other relatives for as Christmas gifts. My list is oriented toward older scouts, but if you're a Cub Scout leader, I'm sure you can come up with some items that Cub Scouts need. A gift card to the scout shop or a gift certificate for camp is always a terrific gift. But I think it's important that a scout accumulates some personal gear during his or her scouting career. And there are certainly some things that will make that scouting experience and especially outings safer and more comfortable. So what's on the list? Here's a few items. First, a good raincoat. Kids always seem to be poorly prepared for rain, so a good raincoat would be a top priority. How about a camp chair? I remember plenty of campouts where I would find scouts parked in my chair because they failed to bring one. Good socks. One or two pairs of good, smart wool hiking socks. I recommend the Darn Tough brand. And an Orienteering compass, such as a Silver Starter or a Silver Explorer. You get the idea. Think about things that would make a scout's experience better and safer, but that parents might not specifically know how to choose. 